Tonight, NTV has obtained exclusive CCTV surveillance footage showing the exact moment Lilian Waidera, a staff at the National Hospital Insurance Fund, NHIF, was shot along Kaunda Street in Nairobi CBD. The footage shows that Waidera, who was working in the company of one other colleague, was shot at 13 minutes and 3 seconds past 5 p.m. on Monday the 13th of February. Ibrahim Karanja begins our broadcast. This police tape meant to cordon off a crime scene and dried spots of blood is what remain at the scene where Lillian Waidera was shot and killed on Monday. People around this place and right outside the optical shop still struggling to come to terms that such a murder would occur in what is otherwise a largely crime-free street. According to CCTV footage captured at the scene, Waidera donning a black sweater and a second woman are seen walking from the direction of Echo Bank in Kaunda Street and cross the street at Hamilton House towards the Jubilee Insurance Building. Seconds later, as she was walking past the optical shop, Waidera is startled, as is her colleague, and they remain standing momentarily before she is pulled to the roadside where she collapses at the parking zone designated for Jubilee Insurance between these two vehicles came to our door and said that someone's been shot, that we should assist her with an ambulance number or call an ambulance for her. That's when we all panicked and ran outside to see what was going on. And we found a lady had collapsed outside the door and she was bleeding from her mouth and nose. As Waidera was allegedly shot, everyone else is seen continuing with their usual business, unaware of the happenings, perhaps evidence enough that no sound of a gunshot was heard. After a short while, however, a crowd starts milling where she was, and for more than 20 minutes, frantic calls were made to get an ambulance. An ambulance arrived at the scene slightly more than 25 minutes later and spent 11 minutes at the scene before it rushed Waidera to hospital, where she was pronounced dead on arrival. Her chest was face, facing downwards until paramedics came and turned her over while they were trying to give her first aid. So that's when they, we saw blood. Now, we did not actually see blood on her clothes. It was just the blood that was oozing from her mouth, so we didn't quite know what the problem was. The DCI is still investigating on who might have shot Waidera and where the bullet might have come from. Speculations are still rife on whether Waidera was a targeted person or whether this was an accident. Meanwhile, Waipa leader Kalonzo Musioka is reading political motive in Waidera's killing. Yani mama mepigwa risasi. Pengine, this is practice. Wajue unaweza kupiga bila bunduki kusikika, uanze kurudisha political assassination in Kenya. Wangapo anasema ya ya. Sema ya ya. Ibrahim Karanja, NTV. May justice prevail.